हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो आई एम बैक अगेन विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच पीपल आर आस्किंग इन द कमेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल ट्राई टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन विच इज द रीजन फॉर दिस रेफ्रिजरेशन प्लांट कंप्रेशर सक्शन लाइन फ्रॉस्टिंग और स्वेटिंग सो बिफोर आई बिगिन विद द वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट सी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन actually this frost on the suction line only indicates that the uh, location where the frost is present uh, is is because the suction line is below the dew point of the surrounding uh, ambient air temperature so that is why frost is taking or the sweating is taking place on the suction line it uh, neither indicates uh, the proper operation of the system nor uh, does any defect although it is uh, normal for many refrigeration systems to have frost on suction line it is not a very accurate indication of proper operating of the system it uh, it could uh, also indicate uh, it could uh, it could be uh, because of some fault also the measure uh, for this must be done for the refrigerant superheat value when analyzing the operation of the system while troubleshooting a system normally uh, measure the refrigerant superheat value at two locations along the suction line so the first location is at the outlet of the evaporator typically referred to as evaporator superheat measuring the evaporator superheat value is important part in analyzing the system's performance if uh, the superheat value is lower than the normal value then uh, too much refrigerant is entering into the evaporator uh, and load is uh, not that much so this indicates that if the value of superheat is less then uh, it indicates that too much refrigerant is entering into the evaporator for the particular uh, load as a rule of, uh, as a rule or a thumb rule uh, this many uh, medium temperature systems generally have superheat value of 8 to 10 degrees and uh, low temperature systems applications have 4 to 6 degree of superheat but uh, in all, in uh, in all the cases please refer to manufacturer specifications for superheat value of your system don't just uh, go for 8 to 10 degree superheat or 4 to 6 degree uh, superheat value the second place uh, where the superheat value is uh, calculated it is uh, at the compressor suction so this is important measure for the compressor because uh, it ensures that uh, this returning refrigerant will not cause damage to the compressor a saturated refrigerant 0 uh, degree superheat or excessive high superheat value can cause damage to the compressor a saturated refrigerant at this location indicates that some amount of liquid refrigerant is entering into the compressor liquid refrigerants uh, this uh, returning to the compressor can damage in two ways first is it can mix with the lubricating oil and as this lubricating uh, this liquid refrigerants come in contact uh, with the bearing surface uh, it wash away the oil film of the bearing and uh, depending on the percentage of the liquid refrigerant to the oil bearing wear could be mild or severe so basically this refrigerant if li this li liquid refrigerant will enter into the lube oil system and uh, so, uh, sorry uh, enter into the bearings and will damage the oil film and uh, will affect the uh, lubrication and will damage the bearing the second thing is uh, if this uh, refrigerant uh, uh, this liquid uh, refrigerant return to the compressor it is possible for the liquid to enter the cylinder for cylinder of the compressor and that cause further damage to the compressor as it attempts to compress the liquid as the compressor attempts to compress the liquid so these these are the two things uh, which are very dangerous in case the uh, this liquid refrigerant enters the compressor side so so just looking at the uh, frost or uh, the sweating of the suction side we cannot tell that uh, the system is not performing properly but uh, after checking the superheat value we can sell we can uh, say the system is uh, either uh, system is not 
function properly if superit value is not to the specified value uh, is not equal to the specified value of the manufacturer in that case we can uh, we can uh, we can say that this frost can be because of this expansion wall oversize suppose if we have uh, changed expansion wall recently then and uh, if this expansion wall is oversized then this frost will happen in case the superheat value is not correct or this uh, expansion wall is stuck open in that case also this frost and uh, this uh, sweating will be there on the suction side the other reason is uh, evaporation uh, fan evaporator fan is not working properly or is not working at all and we have to check uh, for uh, check reasons for that then uh, icing on the evaporator coils then that that will also reduce the heat transfer from the evaporation so the liquid refrigerant uh, the, the superheat value will decrease and uh, the suction the sorry the the frost and the uh, sweating will be there on the suction side then uh, the last one is the uh, this overcharging of refrigerant so these are the reasons uh, which could uh, lead to frost or the sweating on the compressor suction side if the superheat value is less than or uh, is less than the specified value of the manufacturer so just looking at the uh, sweating uh, we cannot say that the system is working properly or not we have to first find the superheat value then accordingly we have to judge whether all these all these things are happening or not so thank you friends this was the answer to uh, this question and it's a very important question so do watch this video and uh, till then have fun take care